Graft versus host disease is a, is a known and a unique complication of, the, of an allogenic stem cell transplant process. Um, acute GVHD uh, can present as a skin rash or upper or lower gastrointestinal symptoms or, or liver disease. Um, it results from uh, potentially tissue injury that happens from the conditioning uh, uh, resulting in increased cytokine release and, and that causing inflammation in these, in these organs. So the treatment is directed to improve that inflammation and uh, the mainstay of treatment or at least the first line of treatment at this time is primarily corticosteroids. Um, there have been studies that have looked at adding something to steroids, but so far we don't have something that does better in addition to steroids compared to steroids alone. So the first line has so far remained high dose corticosteroids, usually two milligram per kilogram, um, sometimes one milligram per kilogram if it's just upper uh, gastrointestinal involvement or, or a milder skin involvement. Um, second line treatments are sort of, um, I mean now we have an approval for rituximab which is a JAK inhibitor and JAK pathway is involved um, in, in uh, graft versus host disease and we have seen some success in patients who are steroid refractory. Um, there are other options such as uh, uh, ECP that has been used. Um, there are other drugs that are in the pipeline, for example, uh, CD25. Uh, there's data being presented uh, on uh, abatacept abitac um, and, uh, and other agents that are being, um, that are being considered and investigated.